Hello. This is uh, one of my experiments with Radiant and uh, charging batteries. This is a Model T spark coil. Um, I'm only using the, the core uh, of the spark coil with the secondary and the primary that's encased in this stuff. And I'm using a door buzzer, um, a regular door buzzer that um, you can get for about a dollar um, to interrupt the circuit. <clears throat> I've got it rigged to a radiant light, a neon light, and it's powered by a single AA battery. And it's hooked up to a 12 volt um, lawnmower battery, uh, car battery. Right now the voltage is 1.82. The, um, the battery is rechargeable, the AA battery is rechargeable. It's um, like 1.4 volts right now. And this is a uh, dimmer switch, uh, the rheostat, the, the uh, potentiometer out of, the, um, out of a, a door dimmer. That's the same place you can get a neon bulb for a couple of bucks. <clears throat> when I turn it on, we'll use this neon to adjust the radiant so the radiant charge is equal when it goes into the 12-volt battery. And you can use these two electrodes that are inside that neon to to maneuver that around until you get get it just right and you can also read it out on the meter this uh, battery was just flushed and put with new electrolyte in so it's it was basically dead now it's reading 1.82 just from the reaction inside uh, right now but when you put a charge to it and it goes back and forth it'll it'll uh, go up a lot more <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it on it's really loud um, I don't know if you can see the the radiant light right here. So the buzzer is just tuned. Now we're getting 2.15 volts. But when you turn this, when you increase the resistance, power goes way up. And this, between the two electrodes, is a little ball of neon glow in between. If you go back, the light goes back on on the right hand side, the right cathode. If you go all the way, it'll go right to the middle, and then your voltage is 7 point whatever, and it's charging that 12 volt battery. <clears throat> so, and you can adjust this and watch the voltage move around from the pulses. Apparently, the back EMF, I guess, is coming off of this secondary. And the most you can get at full resistance is 7.05. And you're only getting a little bitty. I don't think I can show it anymore or any better. But now when I go back up, power goes back down. Goes the radiant, gets shunted to the right side. So it's all one-sided. The waves are making it all go to one side. So now when you come back with the resistance, it goes back to the middle. It's hard to see because of the lights, but um, now you see the voltage is at 7 point whatever. And if you put a voltmeter to the AA battery, um, after it settles down from jumping around, it'll be it'll have more voltage than when it started. So that's where I'm at with this one. Thanks.